Hi, I'm Bianca. Um, I'm a physicist and I work at Quantum Brilliance where we're building room temperature quantum computers that you can hold in your hand. That is a, a new type of computer that is able to solve different types of problems faster than traditional computers. The technology we're developing is lightweight, low power, compact and can operate at room temperature. These attributes mean that our chips can operate environments that quantum computers are not commonly associated with. Our application development is guided by quantum utility. We're not out to do new, big, impossible things. Our aim is to outdo anything of the same size, weight, power and cost. Quantum computers should be able to solve certain types of problems much faster than classical computers. At this company, we're trying to learn from the lessons of classical computing where the real impacts were not envisioned early on in the technology. It has this amazing vision of like room temperature quantum computing that's going to change not just the landscape of computing in the world, uh, but potentially the trajectory of humanity. I mean, who doesn't want to be a part of that? We've got such an amazing team from a range of different backgrounds right across the world, both in Australia and Germany, and they make our company what it is. No matter where their expertise lie, they bring them into the company and people are working exceptionally well together to develop this technology. Our ultimate vision is for a diamond-based quantum accelerator in every computer. To see our devices used for the discovery of new life-saving medicines, or for the development of new battery technology for the green energy sector. These are the kind of applications that spell out success for us. It's taking quantum computing from this very niche application to something that's uh, just a chip in your phone that allows you to do things that you couldn't otherwise. And getting that technology into the hands of researchers and engineers so they can solve problems that we can't even envision them solving at the moment.